Hey guys, it is Star the Flippin' Hippo. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel. I'm gonna do a real quick haul video today. I say real quick, it might not be real quick. Um, we went yard selling yesterday and we were out for about three hours and it was hit or miss. Uh, the first community yard sale we went to ended up being a neighborhood of condominiums where people were in their garages with like one table with literal crap on it. Not anything anybody's looking to source. Um, there weren't that many community sales, so we drove around a bit in those three hours, but we found three home runs that made it worth it. Like the three things that we found that we brought home make the three hours, three to four hours we were out and about driving around worth it. And we got a handful of other stuff that's going to be a long tail. That's more for me. And then we went to our local Honey Pot Thrift yesterday. They had a 99 cent sale on yellow tags. But then they were just bringing out racks from the back of clothes that was just coming new onto the floor that they were putting signs on for 99 cents. They told me they have too much inventory and um, the company isn't sending them trucks with new inventory until they clear some of their old stuff out. So what they're doing is just putting new stuff out for 99 cents. So we grabbed a handful of stuff. We got 32 items, give or take, and we paid $32. I want to say everything we bought was 99 cents, um, but I could be wrong. I think there was a Disney shirt we made have paid two for. But we spent 32. We got like 30, 32 items. And then today we went to one Goodwill, but we decided um, we were going to try a new one. Now, I know that I mentioned... A couple weeks ago in a haul video that we actually have a death pile we still have a death pile um we have a death pile it's there's just no there's no way around it i have a death pile of jeans i have a death pile of shorts i have a death pile of swimsuits and i have a death pile of ladies tops keith has a workable pile of men's shirts because he's going through them and he's getting through them faster um mine is backing up i guess because i've been spending um I've been spending a lot of time on Posh and on the plush hauls that I got. I mean, I've got more than 100 plush in, in the last few weeks. So I definitely have death piles, and I'm trying to slow down on sourcing things that I list, unless it's amazing. And Keith is still grabbing handfuls of the men's shirts that he lists, bread and butter, amazing, all of it. So we only decided, we decided to only go to one Goodwill today because we have so much stuff here. And we decided to go to one we've never been to before. We had heard about it from a few people that it's really big, that they get um, really good brands in there and that the employees are really nice and that it's nice and clean and really, really big and they have a really good selection. So we drove about 30 minutes to a different neighborhood, um, the other side of Pittsburgh. And we were pretty impressed. I mean, it was a really big Goodwill. It was big. And I think the thing that impressed me the most was the way they had their jeans hung on the rack. I've seen this at, um, oh, I can't think of the name of the store. It's a consignment shop and it's really popular and people go there all the time and I'm totally brain farting. I know Casey like went there and bought the whole store once. Um, I can't, I can't think of it. Anyway, I've seen jeans hung this way at that store before and I was really impressed. So this Goodwill hangs their jeans. They put the hanger on the leg of the jeans and hang it like that so that the waistline is like at a diagonal coming out. So all the jeans are hung up by their leg and all the waists are diagonal, just boom, 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 boom. And you can literally just like, just look at the brands and the sizes and just like go really really fast you don't have to pull um each hanger and look for the the brand or the size you can just literally like glance down it was amazing i i they had so many jeans too like racks and racks for me to go through but it was so easy and so fast to go through them um they had they just had so many clothes in there it was such a big store and they had a lot of plush, but it was really organized. Like this is the most organized Goodwill I've ever seen. The way things were hung up, the way things were um, placed on the racks in the store, the way they had their toys, the way they had their shoes. It was just a very nice organized store. And I, 
I really enjoyed myself in there. We found a lot of items. We paid up for a lot of items. We didn't get all 99 cents. Um, we spent $71 and we came out with probably 40 to 50 items, um, give or take. I guess I could have looked at my receipt and I could have told you exactly how many items, but it was like 40 to 50 items and we spent like $71, but we paid up for a lot of stuff I'm going to show you. And we were, we were thrilled. It was a really nice store. Now, I don't know if this was just like pure luck today that we found what we found. Um, if it's a one-off, if we go back, if we'll ever, you know, hit like this again, but we will go back. We will try it again. And one of the exciting things is that we all got free ice cream. So they, I don't even know if this is just like something they do every Sunday or if this was just a one-off that we just happened to walk into today, but they had an ice cream truck, um, parked outside. And if you spent $5 or more in the store, you got a ticket for a free ice cream. And they were saying it was one ticket per customer, um, but they gave us three. My oldest son didn't go. He wanted to stay home and um, play on the video games with his friends. So just the youngest son went today, and um, they gave us three tickets. So I don't know if it was because we spent so much money and got so much stuff, or they just are nice there. But we got three of those little red carnival tickets and we all were able to go outside to the ice cream truck and pick a free ice cream. And since it's like a thousand degrees here and 100% humidity, um, I, I, I enjoyed the ice cream. It was really good. So that was like the cool part. Like we really liked the store a lot, but we got free ice cream just for shopping, for doing what we already do. Okay, so yesterday at the yard sales, I'm going to show you the three home runs after I show you some of my little stuff I got. Now, a lot of this is still wrapped up because we haven't really began unwrapping. Um, you see this, $3. There were three glasses in the set, so the dollar a glass, which I'm okay with paying for these. These are um, McDonald's, the Great Muppet Caper. This one has Kermit the Frog and Fozzie and Animal, and the other two have different characters from the movie on them. I will be washing these by hand, and then um, I'll probably put them up as a set. I do really well with the Disney McDonald's glasses, so I'm going to try those. Um, probably for three of them. I'll have to comp them, but I'm, I'm thinking it's probably going to be like 40 bucks plus shipping. Unless people have been racing to the bottom, or they're worth more than I think they are. So I got those three glasses, $3.00. And then we went to a junk in the trunk church sale. That's what it was called. And somebody had these little poo figurines. You see that's this one's September. So the theme is school. And Pooh Bear's dressed to, to go to school. He's got his backpack and his books. Um, they didn't have all the months of the year. I don't know if other people had bought them before we got there or she just didn't have them. The lady that was selling these. She had seven of them. So we bought all seven that she had. And I think I broke this one. Oops. Well, this was April. And <laughs> he's supposed to have an umbrella. I do have glue, so I mean you can see that that was glued. I'll glue it back on and I'll mention it in the listing that I glued it back on. But yeah, we got the um, all of them that she had. She had seven, so we got the seven that she had. She was asking two dollars a piece, so I spent fourteen on these. This one still has the two dollar price tag. Um, this one's October, and it's Tigger dressed up as Pooh for Halloween in a jack o' lantern. So we got the seven she had. Everyone has a different month and the theme. Um, the different Winnie the Pooh characters to that month's theme. Um, I'm thinking worst case scenario, they'll be like $12 plus shipping. That's worst case if people have run this down to the bottom. Um, I'm hoping more for like 20 to 40 depending on the figure. And I got some coffee mugs, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to find them in here because 
I did find one. We have everything wrapped. We take all of our own bags with us when we go yard selling and bag our own stuff up in the trunk. And then I keep extra of these for breakables that we buy. And we just wrap them while we stand at our trunk. It is storming outside. Good, maybe it'll break that humidity. Anyway, this is a, just a red coffee cup with a yellow m and on one side and a red one on the other. She was asking a quarter. This was at the church sale. And she had two um, exactly identical. So I paid 50 cents for both, one listing for two items. So, um, yeah, I have a whole bag full here of a couple other different glasses and mugs and these guys. And she had some other Disney figures I grabbed up. And I got... Um, a few plushies here and there at different yard sales, nothing too exciting, just like the, the classic toy company plushies and a couple of Disney. So here's the home runs. So the last time we comped these, this is a Texas Instrument calculator, they were going for $80 used. I can't open it and I don't want to break it. This one's purple. It's really pretty. Actually, if I needed a calculator, I would keep this. I love purple. Um, this was $5 at a yard sale. And because the last time that we had comped these, they were going for $80. We grabbed it up, no problem. And um, Keith got it home and looked it up. And apparently a bunch of turds have ruined the market and raced to the bottom on these. These go now new in package for 100 and these used ones will go for 40 um, but still 5 into 40 isn't too bad but that's just kind of disappointing it's, it's like worth half of what it was a couple months ago because people are buttheads um, this bum, 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 one of our favorite things to flip it is a guitar for the Guitar Hero 2 it has its original box and the game comes with it. The game is inside of the box with the guitar. The guitar is in really good shape. Um, we paid three dollars for that and because it has its original box and comes with the game, Keith will be asking about 60 to 70 for it. Three into 60 is not bad, right? Plus shipping. We charge shipping on this. I'm moving these controllers to show you this. This is a PS3. And this was just sitting on a table, right? And it had a $20 sticker on it, and it was all by itself. And then he had um, some games next to it that should be worth 2 to $3. And he had like $15 and $30 price tags on these games. So Keith and I walked across the street to another yard sale just to really talk about this. And he said that he didn't see any cables or controllers with it. And... He thinks the reason the guy was charging 20 was because it didn't have any controllers or cables and there was something wrong with it because if you're charging $30 for video games and only 20 for the um, PS3, there's probably something wrong with it. So I went back across the street and I asked the guy, I said, is this $20 as is or do you have the cables? And he was like, oh no, 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 they're in a bag under the table. So he had two controllers with it and the cables and so we purchased it for $20 and it will be going up for $85 plus shipping. So even this one that we're only gonna ask 44 was a really good find. So um, we spent $28 collectively on our three home runs and we will be getting 190 to 200 for all three. So that definitely made the three hours we were out yard selling worth it. And then all my little long tail, um, slower items, they'll go as they go and be all pure profit basically because our home runs will move very quickly and pay for the day. So that was cool. I wanted to show you <laughs> this huge Clifford. I got him today at the other Goodwill. You can see he has a yellow sticker, so he was 99 cents. Today was yellow was 99 cents and pink was half off. He's ginormous, and he's got, he's supposed to do something. He's got a little box in here. So I'm going to, um, later on tonight, put new batteries in him and test him and see what he does or if he still does. But for 99 cents, even if he doesn't work for a giant Clifford plushie, 
Um, yeah, all day long. I just hope he works, because that would be super home run for the plushy world. Okay, so now I'm just going to show you a couple clothing items we got the last couple days. And I probably should be more prepared, so you guys don't have to watch me untie my bags. This is from yesterday at our local honey pot. Everything I'm going to show you, we paid 99 cents for. Um, and like I said, we got like around 30, 32 items, but I only pulled out a handful to show you. This is a BKE buckle western pearl snap shirt. It's really nice. This is on one of the racks that they rolled out for 99 cents just to get rid of it. It's a nice plaid color. It's an extra large, so that's a really good size. It's western pearl snap, so for 99 cents all day long. I found that one. I was very excited. There are tags, um, yellow tags for 99 cents yesterday. Um, that was the color. It's a goodwill today, too. So, um, Victoria's Secret pink jeans. Um, Victoria's Secret pink does really well um, for me on eBay. And I've heard that it does really good on Poshmark. So these will definitely be cross-listed when I get them up. And for 99 cents, yeah, definitely. And these I actually, I paid up for, I paid full price for these. They were free, no I'm kidding. They were $6.79, but they are Miss Me Jeans and um, Miss Me Jeans and Silver Jeans are like the only jeans I will pay that much for. Um, but for what I can move them for on eBay and Poshmark, it's just, it's worth it. I will have to look up that number to comp them to see which, um, how much this particular style comps for. But I was really excited to find those, even having to pay full price for them. And then this bag is stuff we got today at the Goodwill. And I'll show you each one and tell you how much we paid. We found a slew of these and we took a gamble. Um, because there's, is this Kooji or Kugi? I call it Kugi, but Keith calls it Kooji. So, whatever it is, um, certain shirts and jeans of this go for a lot they comp for a lot and then other ones um not so much race to the bottom it really depends on what you find this one is a more of a plain one but it's got this nice patch and it was new with tags so we decided to try it for five dollars and this one is not new with tags, but it is an extra large. It's really big. It's a nice button up. It's got a patch on it. This one was also five. Keith found a slew of these like all together on a rack. And we grabbed them all. We decided to try it. I mean, sometimes we just take gambles. This one was really cool. It has like a this nice patch here. It's got stuff going on on the front and the sleeves. It was also an extra large. I think they were all extra large, so I think they probably were donated by one person. There were um, four of those. This one is a XXL actually and it's got the nice spell out on it um so yeah i mean five dollars eh, it's a gamble but i really feel like between ebay and cross posting to posh we could probably get 40 for them and worst case scenario we'll find out somebody's only worth 20 less fees cost of goods and shipping we'd still make like nine dollars 
So, I mean, $9 is not a lot of profit to make, but it's not a loss. Then we can just learn our lesson. Don't pay up for Kuji anymore. Um, but I really feel like we're going to get more like $40 a shirt. We'll see. I paid up for these. I paid $7. And you guys know that for my silver jeans, I will pay $7 all day long. I only found one pair, though. So I was kind of sad. But one pair is good, right? Better than nothing. And you guys, the coupe the gras of the day today. We paid up for these. We paid three dollars a piece. These are the Donald Trump ties that have the gold bar. And I don't know if you can see that. See that? The gold bar allegedly makes them worth a little more. This one is a nice purple. And again, $3. It's got the gold bar. Sorry, there you go. And this one's real pretty. It's black with like a nice paisley print on it. That is a nice tie. This one also $3 has the gold bar. It's just a brown and blue striped. Donald Trump tie. This one is uh, not the ones with the gold bar. We still paid three dollars for it. Grabbed it up. It doesn't have the gold bar. It's the signature collection, but it is this nice gold color. And we had one like this before that went for forty. So all day long for Trump ties. This was $3. This one has the nice signature gold bar there. And it's a gold, which is like a nice print. So, um, these Kugi shirts, Kuji shirts, whatever, they were a gamble. But like I said, even if um, they've been, there's been a race to the bottom on them and they only go for 20 we'll still make $9 a shirt and we'll just know never to pay that again. That's the worst case scenario and that is why we decided to risk it and run the gamble um, because we're going to make money. Like our worst case scenario, we're still making $9 a shirt. Best case scenario, we're making $29 a shirt. Um, so it's worth it. And then of course the Donald Trump ties. That was an amazing find. Five of them. Five Donald Trump ties all together on the rack. And then the Misty jeans and the silver jeans are really exciting. This BKE shirt's nice. So, yeah, we did pretty well. Um, the rest of the clothing that we got yesterday and today is mostly um, the bread and butter brands of the men's shirts that Keith does list. Um, like I said, he's running through his stuff. He doesn't have as big of a death pile as I do. So we stocked him up really good on men's shirts. Um... And I got some more shorts and stuff. I mean, I, I grabbed a few things that I do, but mostly it was stuff for Keith and just like the bread and butter stuff. These are all the exciting finds. So, yeah, we had another really great weekend as far as sourcing. Uh, we found a lot of long tail uh, bread and butter items and some really exciting home runs that are fast flips that are going to make us a lot of money. And some clothing that will make us a lot of money, even though they'll be slow. Um, the Donald Trump ties, Keith tends to list really high and sits on them. And he waits until he gets the price he wants. So, let me know down below what you guys think about our haul this weekend. And let me know what you found. Um, did you guys find anything exciting? Did you try anywhere new? Did you go yard selling to the thrift store? What did you guys do? What did you guys find? What do you think about what we found? Tell me all of it down below. Um, do me a favor and smash the like button if you would. I appreciate it. And if you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to our channel and help us feed a hungry hippo. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We are at Flippin' Hippos. Until next time, you guys have a good night.